Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Pokemon Soulstones 2 Time Wardens! I cannot believe we have a sequel to this game already, considering Soulstones only like kind of recently came out, what, like 2021? And that was a big game. Lots of regionals, a massive banging story, uh, so many like regions to explore. It was just really, really good. And now we got a sequel, which is uh, I'm very interested in. So let's jump right into it. Got to play with some settings first, just to make sure everything's all good. So let's go tech speed to fast. Uh, screen size too large, make it a little bit easier. And then menu theme, I can't see from here, but let's go with five. And new game. All right, so welcome to Soul Stones 2, Time Wardens. Yes, oh, I'm excited. You pay for this game, you have been ripped off. This game is and always has been a free passion project. Yeah, never pay for ROM hacks or fan games. Even the ones you see like physical copies of, they're just stolen and people just put them on like a cartridge and then sell and yeah, anyway. So we've used publicly available resources or sought permission from the artist creators for use of their sprites, overworld or art, where it hasn't been created by the Soulstones 2 developments team. So we do not intend to plagiarize or take any content that we're not permitted to be using. If you feel otherwise, please feel free to contact any of the devs on Discord or on Poker Community. So if you've downloaded this game from any other third party site other than Poker Community or the official Discord, please ensure you delete this game and re-download from the latest available version on any of those sites. So only the PC version of this game is officially supported. If you uh, choose to uh, play on any other platform, a Mac, Joy Play, uh, you, do not, you do so at your own risk and not all errors experienced on these uh, other platforms will be reproducible on PC. This game was made by a group of hobby developers. Please don't expect the quality of a full team of professional developers. Any bugs should be reported in the Pokemon Soulstones and Time Wardens Discord. Okay. Do I need help? Uh, no, I think I'm good. What difficulty? Ooh, uh, I think we'll go for standard. Unfair difficulty. <laughs> I love how they just call hard mode unfair. All right, standard. Uh, randomizer mode? No, we won't go randomizer. Like in the space, mysterious voice. Ooh. Hello, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Who are you? Can I trust you? I don't think you can trust me, but I'm reaching out for help. I don't know who or what you are. I am desperate to be uh, reaching out through the cosmos in the hope that someone would hear me. And you were the first to answer my call. Who are you? Alright, so we will go with the left. Yes, I am certain. Tell me, what is your name? Ooh, the sprites look different as well. Last time they're like um, Gen 3 style, now they're like Gen 4 style. Let's go Voltsy. Yep, all good. So you're Voltsy? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Who or what are you? I travel from a different timeline, Voltsy. I need your help, desperately. Europa Lake, please hurry there. My compatriot and I are injured. We need assistance soon. We're being hunted. Oh, who you been hunted by? Oh wow, the game looks gorgeous. Whoa, that was such a vivid dream. It felt so real. Who or what was that? They wanted me to go to Europa Lake. That's so strange. Anyways, that was an unusual dream. I'm starving. I wonder what there's to eat. <laughs> just say, if I woke up from a dream like that, yeah, I would just be like the same, like, huh? Oh, get on with my day of breakfast. We've got like a shower, we've got like an ensuite in our room. And we've got a fancy room. I mean, like, the, 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 the ensuite looks really good. Uh, yo. Oh, there you are, Voltsy. How'd you sleep? Yeah, pretty good. Fine, I guess. Just had a weird, bit of a weird dream, that's all. Oh, that's cute. Well, come on now. Are you ready to go? Uh, ready to go for what? Silly child, it's your 21st birthday. Don't you remember? Oh, we're 21, nice. So we're going to Europa Lake today for a picnic with uh, Artie Campbell and his mother, Professor Agnes Campbell. I, oh, uh, I seem to have forgotten my own birthday. <laughs> well, anyway, happy birthday, honey. Here's an early birthday present for myself. Oh, we got a poker gear and some running shoes. Do you like it? Those running shoes will help you run faster. That poker gear comes with a few extra features. So check it out when you have an opportunity. I also want to give you this potion. Uh, you can equip it on the uh, battle belt. Wait, battle belt? Okay, allows you to quickly equip two healing items and a combat boost item to your battle belt for use in trainer battles. That sounds cool. So the items on your battle belt automatically refill so long as you have extra available in your bag. Know that this belt will limit the items you can use in trainer battles. Uh, oh, to what you have equipped. Oh, that's cool. But if you don't uh, want to use the belt, you can turn this off altogether in the option. No, no, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep that on that, unless it gets really difficult, but that sounds really cool. I almost forgot, uh, this was another gift for you. Got camping gear, okay. So gear for camping outside can be used to advance time. Oh, okay. 
That gear can be used to uh, take a nap and awaken at the time you choose. Speaking of which, uh, now go check on Artie to see if he's ready yet. He's in the neighboring house, or did you forget that too? So Europa Lake. Now uh, that's where that mysterious voice from the dream told me to go. This is convenient, right? Uh, neighboring house you said. Okay, sure. I'll go check up to see if uh, Artie is ready yet. Right, so we have this battle bell. Ooh, a little squirtle. Oh, that's because the menu, right? Got quests. Uh, bag, poke, right, poke gear. Let's check this out first. Check the region. Whoa, that's a big region. Oh, this could be a long series. Very long series. I mean, Soulstones 1 was very long as well. I think that I finished that in like almost 40 parts and like each part was like over an hour long. A long game. All right, I got a jukebox and type lookup. Uh, how do we do this battle belt? Is it key items? Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, B. B? Ah. Right. Uh, do I have to go potion add to belt? So that's I, I like this idea. I think like Pokemon, the, the main series game, should do like a battle belt. That's like such a cool idea. Because that way you just can't spam. Right, well, you, I guess you could spam revives and potions, but like, instead of being able to like spam full heals and full restores, max potions, whatever you need, just two items. Limiting to that is actually really cool. Alright, and how many badges? Oh, that's going to be like a lot of badges. Assuming we get badges and it's just not like um, story progress stuff. Alright, let's head out. Alright, I wonder if I can do this. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Give me a sec. Aha! Got it working. I'm in the game. <laughs> I just thought because for Soul Stones 1 we played as my little character. We'll do it for this one as well. But my guilty pastime is to a lounge by the shore of Europa Lake. Is that a shiny remember I think it is. Should pay a visit there if you haven't already. Okay, will do. Oh man, I love this sprite. Oh, there's a quest that we can pick up. Is it? Ooh. Like a new Yamper. My Yamper and I like going for walks around the neighborhood. Sometimes I even let him off his leash. Oh, nice. The old man that lives in town doesn't like that very much, though. <laughs> Depends if your Yamper annoys him. Is this the right house? Uh, hey, all. So my son Adi is upstairs. He's packing for the picnic today at Europa Lake with my wife and your family. Oh, nice. Right house. Hey, all. Hmm. Some napkins, plastic cutlery, and... Oh, hey, Voltsy. I didn't see you come upstairs. Is that a, uh, new Mancino? Hey Adi, are you ready for the picnic yet? You bet I am. Minchino and I are ready to go. My mum is just uh, picking up your gift for you. My gift? What gift? It's a surprise, mate. It's your birthday. You think I'm just gonna blab out what your birthday gift is? Don't worry, you'll like it, I'm sure. You just gotta be patient. I wonder if it's a Pokemon, but anyway, I'll see you at the lake. Don't forget to check in with mum. She's uh, waiting in the lab near the uh, gatehouse to Europa Lake. You can't miss it. Okay, sounds good. Anything in the trash? No, I can't interact with that. Alright, I want to go see if we can pick up the side quest from this old man as well. Hey, oh, someone high alert right now. There's been something rifling through my garbage at night. Normally, I wouldn't care so much, but whatever's been doing this has been leaving an unholy mess strewn about all over my lawn. I'm starting to get dirty looks from my neighbour, and she's even uh, left a handwritten note voicing her displeasure. Allegedly, the, uh, the poor way that I maintain my property is contributing to uh, lower real estate prices in the village. Damn, Karen. Anyhow, can you help me uh, track down who or what has been rifling through my garbage and making a mess in my yard? Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you. So on one rainy night, I noticed there was a trail of muddy paws that looked exactly like the ones that have been in my yard. Perhaps you can uh, check the footprints and see if you can determine anything important. Uh, maybe that will give off some clues. Okay. Uh, the street lights turn on at night. Can't wait to see it. You look really cool. Pilot. Hello, I'm the pilot of the Drift Blimp. Using my Drift Blim, I offer rides to various locations that you've visited before within the uh, Orion region for a small fee. Thousand, that's not bad. I haven't been anywhere, so um, I mean, I could probably fly here, but do we want to do that? Probably not. Come on, Apom, wake up! My Apom looks fast asleep, but he's somehow able to keep tossing orange berries at me from the nearby tree. I don't get it. Is it his psychic powers, maybe? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Alright, uh, oh. So good morning, uh, nice day for fishing, ain't it? Yeah, it's alright. Guessing this is probably the lab. So my mum makes the uh, best homemade poker treats. 
You can eat them or you can feed them to your Pokemon. They're delicious. Ooh. Oh, hello, Volti. Uh, do stay for a bit, won't you? Made some poker treats. Can I have some? Oh, nice. Got five poker treats. A popular mini snack for Pokemon of all species and also humans. Ah, oh, my younger brother is so annoying. He eats his share of the poker trees that my mum makes, whereas I save them to eat them later. Inevitably, he whines and cries when he's finished his share, and then my mum makes me uh, share my poker trees with him. Then you gotta eat yours faster. Or say you ate them and hide them. There are ways, man, there are ways. Alright, what else can we do around this town? Alright, I'm assuming we can't do that like, quest just yet until we get a, um. Until we get a Pokemon. But I think this is it, isn't it? Last house. So my mother-in-law can be a real pain. She harasses Mr. Chester about his lawn all the time. He's a nice old man that lives nearby. Yeah, anyone that anyone with common sense can tell that the garbage is not his doing. It has to be some sort of wild animal. Likely something that makes its way into the town from Europa Lake. Thanks for looking into it for Mr. Chester. I'm sure he'll appreciate it, and better yet, it will tell it will tell my nag of a mother-in-law to mind her own business. <laughs> so you're the lady. Ah, oh, that old fart Chester is incorrigible. Don't know what he gets up to at night, but every time I wake up, there is some sort of mess strewn about uh, all about his property. With how unkempt his property is, it's starting to contribute to uh, lower real estate prices. I want to leave this village, but I can't sell my home for a loss. Why do you want to leave the village, man? It's a nice village. Let's go to the lab, and I guess go and get our starter Pokemon. I have no idea what the starters are. I'm excited. Okay, I've got the snacks from the fridge. I got uh, some extra blankets in case it gets cold out on the lake. Am I missing anything? Oh, silly me. I almost forgot Voltsy's gift. They're gonna love it, I'm sure. Oh, Voltsy. Yo. I didn't see you there. You frightened me. You didn't happen to catch a glimpse of your gift, did you? Uh... Lie. No, I didn't. <laughs> but good to know that I'm getting a gift for my birthday. So Artie told me you had a gift for me? Oh, -ho, so this is uh, why you're here and not at the lake already. You want to get an early look at your gift, did you? Well, my dear child, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer to receive your gift. I want to see you open it in front of everyone else. Now off you go. I'll meet, you, I'll meet with you at the lake. Rest assured, I shan't be much longer. I just want to make sure I haven't forgotten anything else important. Your mother and Adi must already be there. Okay, so which way is the lake? Because it looks like we can go, I think, three ways? South, left, or right? Uh, yo. Hello, I'm one of Dr. Campbell's research assistants. Oh, we've got lots and lots of tutorials. Demonic Eye? Wait, what is Demonic Eye? As long as the lead Pokemon in your party is holding that item, it helps ensure you can run from a wild encounter. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, for example, if your lead Pokemon is a Cosmic Rock type, it'll attract any Pokemon that has Cosmic as a Type 1 or Type 2. In this case, look for the type matters. That's really cool. So one of our Dr. Campbell's research assistants, and we've got three new types in this game. Cosmic. Cosmic moves are super effective against normal, fire, and steel. Gotta try and remember this. Cosmic moves are not very effective against rock, dragon, light, and other cosmic types. So cosmic types are weak to rock, dragon, dark, and light type moves. Cosmic types resist fire, fight, and fly, and steel, and other cosmic moves. And finally, cosmic types are immune to ground and sound types. So a lot to go, I like, try and remember. But uh, sound moves are super effective against water, ice, psychic, and bug types. Sound moves are not very effective against flying, ghost, fairy, and other sound types. Sound moves do not affect other cosmic types at all. Sound types are weak to flying, steel, and fairy type moves. And finally, sound types resist water, bug, rock, and other sound moves. Okay, lastly, light. Light moves are super effective against ghost, dragon, and dark, and cosmic types. Light moves are not very effective against grass, ground, rock, steel, and other light types. Light types are weak to grass, poison, psychic, and dark type moves. Light type resists electric, ghost, dragon, cosmic, and other light moves. Right. Not gonna lie, didn't retain all of that, but you know, the more we play, the more we use these types, we'll learn as we go. I'm trying to remember all that's gonna be. Oh, pain in the butt. So I want to assume we go left. Ooh, uh, yo. There are some good selection of books and magazines at the pit stop, surprisingly. Uh, my baby won't stop crying. Being a parent is exhausting sometimes. Ah! <laughs> Europa Lake. Come to the right place. Look at the Butterfree. It looks so cool. Ah, what a wonderful day for a picnic. Don't you agree, Voltsy? Yeah, it could be better now. Yeah, it's, it's a nice day. Kind of. It's a bit cloudy, but yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's nice to have some of these relaxing days from time to time. 
Anyway, enough of that. It's Voltsy's birthday. Bet you've been waiting a while anxiously for this. Well, wait no longer, Voltsy. You can quick save by pressing S. Okay. I'm guessing that this is if we want to, like, um, soft reset for our, uh, our starter to try and get a shiny. But surprise! Ooh, an Eevee. I didn't expect this. Thank you so much, Professor Campbell. Go on, Voltsy. Take Eevee. Uh, yo. I don't really mind if you get a shiny or not. Soft reset. So, Voltsy, if you want to change either the ability or nature on your Eevee, let me know. Oh, okay. It looks really cute. So it's uh, normal, it's hidden power ice. You can man manually allocate EVs by pressing the use button. Default C space, EV pool and EV cap per stat increase with every level up to a maximum of 512, 222 respectively. EVs are automatically increased in two stats with the most EV EVs every time a level is gained. Right. That's cool. Wait, so I can just... Wait. Ah! Maybe it was 120. Ooh, I don't know what I want to put these in, actually. Uh, I'm going to hold off for now. Bil ability is pure heart. Gradually regains 1 16th max HP each turn. Ooh! Ooh, I like the sound of that. Uh, so what abilities can we get? Got pure heart, adaptability. I think I'm gonna have to go pure heart. Sounds so good. Uh, nature. Again, depends what we change this EV into. I don't know. Could go for modest, go for special attack. I think, yeah, let's make a special attacker. Uh, was there was another option? Neither. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Now that you have that EV, there was another present I had for you. This is a Pokedex. I want you to have it. Sweet. As a new Pokemon trainer, it's helpful to have one by your side, so you can look up useful information about the different Pokemon you run into. For the Pokemon you own, the Pokedex also shows you useful info such as its evolution me Oh, evolution method! That's really cool! Its learn set as well as a TM Tutor compatibility. Your mom tells me she couldn't resist and also give you a Poke Gear earlier. As a supplement, you can always look up types of all known Pokemon in the Orion region, including what type they're weak to, what type they resist, and what type they're immune to. It's very handy. And now it's my turn to give you another gift. You're quite spoiled with how many presents you're getting today. Agnes told me she was getting you a Pokemon ahead of time, so I brought this to help you as you travel. Life support, okay. Motor power device that heals the party over time as you travel. Oh, sweet! This is awesome! This is called a life support uh, bliss bot drone. Heals your Pokemon party as you travel. The current rate is to heal you 1 HP every 5 steps you take. That's actually banging! Includes any status conditions your Pokemon party have every 100 steps. It really helps you out, so you don't need to keep running back to a Pokemon Center when you're deep in a route. Thank you, this is so cool. And if you want, you can always toggle it off. No, I ain't toggling it off, no way. Wow, Voltsy, you're getting a lot of presents today. I'm glad you have a Pokedex now, uh, though most of all. But Voltsy, you're going to need some uh, Pokeballs and Repels now to manage around wild Pokemon. So here are my presents to you. 20 Pokeballs, nice. And 5 Repels, cool. And to help you uh, get those new Pokemon caught up, here's some something handy. XP share! Awesome, dude! It's the best birthday ever! So I bet you can catch more Pokemon than you. Well, so I bet I can catch more Pokemon than you. Sounds like a wonderful idea. And that Voltsy has a Pokedex and Pokeballs of their own. And they're not at a uh, disadvantage anymore. So why don't the both of you go explore a little bit in Europa Forest and see how many Pokemon you can catch. Come on, Voltsy! I bet you I'll race you to Europa Forest. Okay, that boy is always in such a hurry. Voltsy, your mom and I shall stay here and get everything packed up and go back to town. Voltsy, if you need to purchase some supplies, one of the assistants in my lab does have some that she can sell you. You can also make use of the Pokemon storage PC from my lab as well, if that is needed. Oh, and one last thing. One of my assistants, Elizabeth, wanted to uh, give you something. Should speak to her when you have an opportunity. Don't stay out too late, okay, honey? 
If you need your Pokemon to be healed, just run back home and I can tend to your Pokemon team. Can we go and do that now? Sweet, I think I can do it now. So Elizabeth in the lab wants to give me something. Oh, you. So hi, I'm one of uh, Dr. Campbell's research assistants. I heard Dr. Campbell gave you a Pokedex. That probably means you're going to be uh, traveling the Orion region, huh? I have a favor to ask. You see, I've been studying this creature that went extinct a long time ago. I believe that it was a very, it was very powerful uh, that throughout its life, trace signatures of its supernatural energy were left behind as it traveled across the Orion region. I think that with the technology I have developed, if enough samples of this creature's, it's gonna be Zygarde, isn't it? Creature's supernatural energy were to be gathered, I might be able to create a carbon copy of it. Sounds intriguing. I'm glad you're interested. Just keep this in your inventory and when you find it, uh, the kit will start humming to alert you. A ghost detector kit, oh, okay. Maybe it's not Zygarde. Hmm, what is it? Allows you to detect any of the creature's hollowed bones and corrupted bones in the nearby vicinity. When you're near these bones, they'll be added to the kit uh, repository. And when you've collected 50% hollow bones and 50% corrupted bones, return to me. Hollow bones represent 1% of the creature's complete form, whereas corrupted bones represent 5% of the creature's complete form. Be on the lookout though, these hollow and corrupted bones are often well hidden. If you can track down 100% of the creature's bones, say 50% in hollow bones and 50% in corrupted bones, or basically 10 corrupted bones, that would provide us enough uh, constituent parts to allow us to replicate the creature. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Right, so what I want to do first is I want to see if this works. So if we go over here, do we have to make this night time? So if we go to the camping gear, uh, it's eight o'clock seems a good, good time, right? Wait, so uh, did you uncover any clues from looking at the footprints in the mud? Oh, near Europa Lake. Okay, I thought I was to do the footprints around here. Okay. That's fine. Let's go back to Europa Lake. Be on the lookout for these bones as well. Decided to use this Eevee. Is there like an encounter thing so we can see what we can find? Encounters, yes there is. Ooh, okay, there's so many awesome new Pokemon. I think I read like every single Pokemon in this game is like a new regional. Like completely new Pokedex, which is just, it's gonna be fun, man. But I think from what I remember, Soul Stones 1 was pretty difficult, especially at the end. Oh, whoa, Growl looks different. Um, M button, select to, select the battle to view its typing, stat changes and active effects. And button view the effectiveness view of moves against the opponent and general information about the moves. Oh, it's sound, okay. So if I go N. No. I don't know how I uh that's fine. What is attack? There's like a speed up button as well. I don't know if there is. Time being, I will have to. Oh, wait. Yeah, so it's Q. Q on the keyboard. Oh, this is not looking too good. Nice. Right, I think I might catch something though. Uh, what were the encounters? Hmm. The Yampa does look kind of interesting. The Starly looks kind of cool as well. Oh, there's the Yampa. Try and get this. Uh, let's go for a tackle. And then we'll throw a ball. That pure heart ability. Ah, I love it. Where did I put like leftovers on top? Wait, what? Did I not? I think I accidentally used a potion, but there you go. We caught Yampa. Sweet. Pokemon has earned the nickname of Man's Best Friend. This is the most faithful Pokemon many humans have domesticated for the reason. Okay, let me try to find this uh, Starly as well. Oh, a Doduo. Actually looking kind of cool. I might get this. We're going to end up catching a lot of Pokemon and switching the team up a lot. I was say, I love the, um, the, I don't know what you call it, the UI for the, the health bar. Looks really cool. 
but the Galaxy Pokemon, it can channel the power of the night sky into its attacks. It goes physical violence in favor of attacking it from, uh, from far with its incessant mind. It's got a cosmic flying type. There's the Yamper again. I'm going to take it out just for the experience. Come on, new Pokemon. Ooh, we've got Stunky. Normal poison. Don't fancy the Stunky. Come on, one more. Nice. Okay, not getting too much experience. I thought I'd get a little bit more. Got the Apom. Uh, I'll debate using the Apom for a second there. I don't know if I want one. Oh, okay, okay, double slap. Only five times. Rude. Okay, double slap. Chill. I honestly thought Dodo would outspeed A Pomp. That A Pomp was fast. It's fine, I need to get healed up anyway, but let's uh, quickly run back. I mean, I've got three Pokemon, maybe we'll just leave it for now. Turn off. Oh, it's like a, I think four or five different speed up speeds. It feels like. But gee, somebody's a slow poke. Come on, Voltsy, move faster, eh? Sorry, I had to camp. But anyway, now that you have some Pokeballs, you should go ahead and catch some Pokemon in here. So check out your pause menu. There's an encounters menu built in that built in that will allow you to uh, see what Pokemon appear in the area. You can assume you you know how to catch Pokemon, but if you don't, well, I don't know. Just look it up on uh, Yanomatube or something. <laughs> One more thing is I leave, leave you to explore. When you're in battle, make sure you press M or N while you're fighting to look up some useful information. Oh, it might be M. I was pressing N last time, so we'll see. I'll be waiting uh, near the entrance to Europa Cave. So once you gather some Pokemon of your own and face me when you're ready. Pro tip, you probably want to get a Pokemon that can counter my Ghost Fairy type, Minchino, otherwise she's going to murk you. <laughs> anyway, I'm off. Don't disappoint me, Voltsy. Uh, Minchino, don't just stare at me like that. It's kind of creepy. So it's a ghost fairy type. Yo, how's it going? So I have a special Rattata. Let's see. Uh, so it's psychic normal. The attack was not too bad. And the best thing is we just want to get healed up. We can literally just do this, like for a little bit. We'll speed up as well. The oh, that live bliss bot is gonna be so good. Oh, look at Cubchoo, it's so cute. Has this place got like new encounters from the first part we were at? Because if so, I'm gonna look to see what we can get. Counters. There's a Venonet. Oh, that's um... It's got Gen 9 Pokemon in uh, Poor Me? Oh, the Hoot Hoot. Oh, I have to get that. That looks amazing. All right, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna go for my tackle, then we'll start throwing some... Ooh, please don't kill me. Nice! Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hey, level seven, let's go. Psychic Light. Uh, there's a lot to explore, it feels like. Got a little tadpole. Can we uh, try and catch you? But the tadpole smells the poke treats on you. Ooh, so I can get like that. You know what, I'll get a tadpole. Not a time pole, temple, but it's grass poison. Spent too much time near the water's edge such that it has started to grow mushrooms. Ugh. Hate mushrooms. I've got an item down here as well. It's like episode one, and we're already gonna get a full team. Full banging team. Oh the manky looks kinda cool. Uh let's go. Cover it. Nice! Am I gonna fight this person maybe? Okay, bug fight. Uh, I think I'm good. So type advantages are overrated. I agree. Sometimes a bit of brute force is always good. Oh, the Venonat actually looks really cute. That's a really cool, like, Venonat design. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Loving this game already, man. Had a banging birthday. Got some great new Pokemon. The region's massive to explore. It's gonna be very interesting. Let's just keep going tackle. And this pure heart ability, Eevee's going to be having a great time. Although it might lose the ability when we evolve it. Hopefully not. 
planting berries back. <laughs> Who do you think I am? You're gonna be coming back here just to pick up some berries? Never. I couldn't even think of one game where I was getting berries. And that was Pokemon Empyrean because you got paid a butt ton of money. Oh, there you go, nice. For me, uh, let's go tackle. If we can get like uh, a new regional like Ferrigarath, oh yeah, boy. Gonna be getting that 100%. That Pokeball. Nice, nice, nice. It's normally very reserved and doesn't like strangers, but when it warms up to a person, it'll become one of its best friends. Oh, that's nice. So we got a full team. Yeah, we got a full team now. All right, let's leave it at this for a little bit so we can start grinding these up. Let's turn that speed off. Oh, that's a lot faster. Like, look how many speed speed ups there are. So this is normal. There's one, two, three, four, four. There's four different speed up modes. It's great. Ah, you made me lose my catch. Good. I'm glad. When you lose all your fish. Oh, oh, the horsey's got some uh, creepy looking eyes. <laughs> Just keep attacking and we good. Oh, wow, Feebas. I bet Melodic looks so good. I actually like the Finneon. I was at, when I had the start and I said it was out of Shiny Remoraid, it was, it was Finneon we saw. So I, I like Finneon. Like, I never really cared for it until I used it in um, a brilliant diamond playthrough. I was like, you know what, it's actually kind of awesome. Ooh. So how far is this cave? Gonna grab all the berries as we go. Berries, berries, berries! Love them berries! Doesn't matter what we find here, I'm not gonna catch anything. Unless, like, it looks really, really cool. Do you wanna fight? Uh, do you have any spare bug repellent by chance? Uh, I got repels, but you can't have any. Whoa, okay, the Starly looks really cool. I think if I see the Starly, I'll probably end up catching that. I, I like that. <laughs> it looks so cool. I was taking a long time to, like, just add a few features, change all the colors of these Pokemon. So sweet, though. Oh, look at the sea dot! Grass fire! Ooh, I bet a shift tree looks amazing! Okay, I'll probably catch a sea dot if I see one. If I see... dot. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna just get rid of the tackle for quick attack. <laughs> ah. Right, anything else for us to grab? Did I fight you? I don't think I did. I got an Inkata. I'm just gonna run from you. Don't really want to fight. That's right. I don't want to fight you. Just enjoyed a bruising from a really tough wild Pokemon. I know I'll lose if I fight you now. So you're gonna need some help in here. You can have this. Ooh, Paralyze Heal. Appreciate it. What tough Pokemon did you battle? Yo. So I have lots of bug type Pokemon. Good. Glad. Let's see him. You know what? Canopy actually looks kind of cool. Like, all the little new designs look amazing. I'm gonna keep attacking and we should be fine. Yeah, like, all the new colors just suit the Pokemon so well. Done a really good job with this. Oh. Let's grab some more berries. I need to put the uh, speed up button program on the controller so it's just a lot easier. Actually, I wonder if it's one of these buttons. Hang on. Oh yeah, I got it right. Hey! So if you look using a controller, it's R3. Alright, so I feel like this might be the way towards the cave, so I'm gonna go down this way first. See what we can get. I feel the, uh, the anger marks over the Mankey. <laughs> so I'm catching the best kinds of Pokemon. Alright, let's see. What are the best kinds? Eh, Stunky's okay. Wouldn't say it's the best kind. It's alright. Don't even ma like, care about that poison anymore. It doesn't matter because we just got the, the bliss bot. I'll just run around for 100 steps. And we all good. Oh, nice critical hit. 
Oh, Raw does some damage. Doesn't send me out. Okay. Guess like new moves in this game as well. Slowpoke. <laughs> Slowpoke just looks I don't know, really adorable with the, the little nose. Oh, I like that. Um Don't know why it just feels like it gets more of an attitude. Wait! I just wanted it. Is XP share? Oh, XP share is an XP all. It's like a normal XP share. Right, I'm gonna put that onto someone then. Do one at a time. Oh, so it is XP all, and we've got to like, turn it on. Uh. No, it's like a held item. Um. I'm gonna do the hoot hoot, because I really wanna get a knock tail. And that'll look banging. Go here, antidote. The best thing is we can just run and get healed up, and then we can head to the cave. Not gonna pop rope health because we just get away really quick. Oh, hey oh. What's the uh how was your trek through the forest? It was alright. Oh let me help you Pokemon up real quickly, okay, doesn't even matter. So, now with that out of the way, are you ready for a battle? Absolutely, let's go. Minchino and I are ready. Hopefully those Pokeballs came in use. Let's do it, Voltsy. I hope so too, I've got a whole team. Oh, you took the one Pokemon? Oh, that's gonna be easy. Ha, huh. you remember to hit my Minchino. <laughs> Mysterious force eliminated the battlefield allowing you to hit ghost type Pokemon. <laughs> what was that? You can hit my Minchino, yep. So I can hit, can I hit it with like quick attack now? Oh, that's super effective, so we'll just keep spamming quick attack. I'd be so annoyed, like, yeah, I got this battle in the bag, and then just some mysterious force allows me to hit you. <laughs> Although, you're getting a lot of HP back. Uh, these draining kisses. They're a little scary. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go, uh, for a tail whip. I think we can live another attack. I'm gonna go for a potion. Oh, I've got no potions. Okay, never mind. A bit bad. Anyone with a physical attack? For me, please have something. Quick attack! Nice! Great, but that rainbow beam? So how did you manage to hit me? I have honestly no idea. Oh, a boss was defeated. Battle style points plus three. Party condition points. Okay, total AP earned. Don't know how you managed to hit my Minchino. That's some real power of friendship. BS yes, right there. <laughs> Even so, I thought I definitely had the upper hand considering I've had my team for a little longer than you've had your own team. Anyway, congrats. I guess we should probably get back, get, get going back home. So uh, getting late and our parents are probably going to be uh, getting worried soon. Hopefully you enjoyed your, your birthday. You know what? I had a great birthday. Oh. What on earth was that? It looks like it came from the cave. Voltsy, follow me. New task, okay. Oh. Is that a Breloom? I just want to check as well. Yeah, so it looks like your Pokemon will get revived as well with the steps. So if I just go like times four speed. How's Eevee looking? Yeah, full HP. Sweet. Uh, hi? Oh, this is weird. This Breloom is blocking the cave. How am I supposed to get around it? Uh, this is- Oh, Breloom 9000! This was in the first game as well. This is not the cave you're looking for, Voltsy. Whoa, you could talk? I can read your mind too. I, uh, what? Have you played Pokemon Soul Stones? Yes. Uh, yeah? And you don't know who I am? I do know. Uh, don't answer that. I'll pretend not to be insulted. Ah, <sighs> alright, I guess I'll give you a refresher. I am an AI terminal, and I am located all throughout the Orion region. Can you find all my terminals? What, like a minigame? Affirmative. How many of you are there? I cannot disclose that information to you, Voltsy. That's part of the fun. But what about other passerbyers? Won't they be curious about you and, you know, try to interact with you? They can't see me. I'm equipped with a state-of-the-art cloaking field. Only people who I want to be able to see me are able to see from my cloaking field and interact with me. That's a clever ploy. Okay, fine, I'll play you. I'll play your game. How many Breloom 9000 terminals have I found so far? 
You found one terminal thus far. Okay, so what do I get if I find all of you bots? Beats me. Ask the developers of this game. <laughs> so, uh, are you gonna move so I can, you know, follow Artie and figure out what I need to do in this cave, or... What? You're gonna harass me to see what humorous voice lines I have in Soulstones 2 so you can experience some comic relief? Shouldn't I offer you a portable PC access and can heal your Pokemon team too? Sometimes if you've uh, found enough of me, I might give you some gifts along the way. That's sort of a motivation to keep finding me. This is my precious comic relief wasn't enough. <laughs> anyway, uh, given this is the sequel to the first game, you should know it will also allow you to uh, check what is your karma rating. I'll only tell you your karma from a universal standpoint. So when you're just starting out, your karma is going to be obviously a, a be low, while the universe decides if you're a good person or not. So if you've not had many opportunities to show you're a good person, like early in the game, I'm going to tell you that you suck and I'm me. But you know, eventually my cinema may change. That is, if you actually do show you're a good person. After all, I have to provide incentives for you to hunt me down after all, you know? Okay, well now we're talking. Right. So check karma. Currently 10. You're the low, the lowest of the low. <laughs> Stop trying, wow. Okay, so what's AP? So you currently have 11 unspent AP and have earned a total of 11 AP during your adventure. The AP will be usable later on. Oh, okay. It's something I'm working on in secret. Just play on the hardest mode you can. Uh, find and earn as much achievement points as you can and it will make uh, more sense soon. Okay. Let's get healed up. Fickle human. <laughs> uh, chatter. Puzzle me why people want their games to be hard. Like, damn, bruv. Uh, get your Dark Souls out of my Pokemon game. My job is stressful enough as it is. Don't need to play a video game to get stressed out too. Exactly, right? I just, just want to have a little bit of fun. Sorry, yeah, those are my other personalities coming out and getting mixed up. You know, so I just want to just relax, catch some cool looking Pokemon, feel a bit overpowered, and just enjoy a nice story. Ooh, is that a Geodude up there? Yeah, it's Geodude down here. Oh, it's ground rock. Not looking too bad. Oh, what is this? Uh, so back away. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> There's little pipsqueak Pokemon things that can hurt us. We'll show you the true power of the Ethereal Guild. Hey, what's your problem? So why don't you pick on someone your own size, huh? What the? <laughs> this guy seems to want to pick a fight with us. He's either brave or stupid. Faulty, help me out. You take the right one. You're gonna regret underestimating me, buddy. Minchino, let's do this. Ooh, Team Ethereal. Music's kinda, kinda banging. And the Murkrow looks cool as well. So we're in a cave, so these rocks order, oh. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> ah, that was a critical hit. Okay, that bullet seed doing a lot of damage. Oh, this is not looking too good. Gonna go for a tail whip. Oh, I can't lower your defense. Right, this is not gonna be easy. At least the music's really banging. Try a rainbow beam. Oh, okay. Super effective, never mind. Oh, this is bad. So if I press M, was it? Ah. Oh, dude, I don't think I can win this fight. You seem way too strong. Just go Stardust? Nope. Uh, boy, you wanna try and do something? Uh, let's go Acid. Oh, never mind. Can't get a single attack. Oh, I might do some grinding, because this... Way too strong. Fury swipes hit five times. Nope, you're not spinning this time. And we lose. Yeah, I gotta win that fight. Alright, let me go get do a little bit of grinding because we are clearly underleveled. Wait, is a clown here? I'm a secret prize man. If you are part of the season three Hall of Fame of Pokemon Soulstones, you will have a special password to unlock access to a secret prize. Don't know what I'm talking about, it's likely because you never joined the Pokemon Soulstones and Time Warden's Discord server, or didn't send uh Josh Lewis, your team to showcase in the Hall of Fame channel. If you did and you don't have the password, you should message him on Discord for the secret code. Uh, I don't have one. I feel like I'd be cheating if I try and find one anyway, so I won't do that. 
let people enjoy their uh, their reward. Anyway, let me go do some grinding. I'll see you guys back at the cave, and then we can try and take down that ethereal guild member. Okay, let's try this battle again. And this time he's got a uh, Marini and not a Murkrow. Right. As you can see, I caught a new Pokemon. I found two actually. I found the Shellos, which uh, looks like an apple and looks so so cool. And I found I remember this from the first Soulstone scheme. Got a Trico, which is Bug Dragon. I think I used the uh, the Sceptile before. I remember it being very good. So I thought, hey, catch another one. Use it the time being because this game's a little bit difficult. And we are gonna go for a Dragon Fury for um, Fake Out. Okay. Right, we are definitely gonna taken out. Did half damage already, so that's not too bad. We go for a Hoot Hoot, and then we'll go for a Confusion. Nice! Alright, come on, we got this. Oh, Pat Rat looks amazing! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow, Rainbow Beam. Definitely super effective against uh, that. And oh, Jang Mo looks insane! Steel Fighting. That's not very effective, but special attack rose, and so now we'll go for confusion. Nice. And ooh, the Grimer. Rainbow Beam, okay, that's not very effective. But raise the special attack, which is nice. Ah oh, no. It's okay, it's okay. Uh I'm gonna Trico. I thought I might have like a um Dragon type move. Get a little bit worried. Let's go, Eevee. Uh, tail whip ya. Okay, quick attack. Oh, you got a berry. I could lose this. Still not in the woods yet. I don't know if Cosmic's gonna be good. Let's try it. Price does that. That's fine. Radiation. Oh, one more radiation. Nice. Just trying to get a feel for the um, the types. And, oh, Trico's level 10 already? Huh. Hey, AP. So, uh, what the hell? These people are tough. No, you're tough, man. Django, we should bail. The lady is unconscious. The boss isn't going to care about the mana fee. Are we got what we came, came here for? You don't got to tell me twice. Let's split. Oh, what did they come here for, though? Thank you for coming to our assistance, strangers. You got here just in time. I'm so tired. So Manaphy seems to have passed out from exhaustion. Look, the Pokemon has a companion. Um, they're both passed out though. They're really bruised up, Voltsy. We should take them back to my mum's lab. We can take them, take care of them until uh, they wake up. Sounds good. So you and Artie yeah, take the silver-haired woman and her Pokemon companion back to Agnes Campbell's lab to nurse them back to health. After many hours of waiting, the silver-haired woman's Pokemon companion awakens but the woman still remains deep in slumber. You gather in a group to question what was happening to the Pokemon and her companion that was uh, being ambushed in Europa Cave. Okay. Okay, Pokemon, who or what are you? My name is Manaphy. Thank you for coming to the assistance of my compatriot and I. I am the companion of the woman that lies unconscious on the bed. Please take this as a thank you for saving us. Ooh, tutoring manual, okay. Seems to come with instructions on how to create an account on Tutor.net. You successfully created an account and saved Tutor.net in your Pokegear's shortcuts. So False Swipe is now available on your... Oh, okay, cool. So what is this lady's name? Kara. She's a Time Warden and I am her companion Pokemon that has been traveling with her. A Time Warden? You can think of us as a sort of intertemporal police. Intertemporal? That means time travelers? Correct. We're from a distant region and timeline. I have so many questions. What are you doing in this timeline? Who are those people back in the cave that were ambushing you? Henchmen from a group known as the Ethereal Guild. They're what we believe to be a loosely affiliated band of mercenaries, pirates, and profiteers. So organized crime? Correct. What are time travelers doing chasing a bunch of organized criminals that almost seems beneath you? Kara and I have been on their trail uh, for the last several weeks. And we had uh, come across a particularly valuable item, and we believe they were pursuing us for this reason. However, as a group of loosely affiliated criminals, we did not expect their reaction to be as uh, pronounced and cohesive as it was. Seemed like us getting a, a hold of that one relic, this sigil, definitely struck a nerve with them. 
Ever since that happened, we had been on the run, and the pursuit of us was relentless. So what does this relic do? I'm actually unsure myself. I'm certain, uncertain what power it affords the user. We wanted to recover it so we could study it for ourselves rather than risk letting it fall into the wrong hands. We've been trying to determine what power it bestows the user, but it seems like these people already know uh, what this sigil is capable of and have been uh, one step ahead of us. We're going to study the artifact and try to determine what it, what it was or what it could do. It seems like the artifact must have some sort of latent power inherent. We ordinarily wouldn't have been in such a compromised position against a bunch of run-of-the-mill grunts, but I think the artifact was affecting us in some way. Specifically, I believe that it may have been interacting with my companion's pendant that she uh, draped around her neck in some way, and weakened her against our knowledge. I didn't realise what it was doing until it was too late. My companion fell ill, and I attempted to run and hide from the grunts. What's so special about your companion's pendant? It looks like an ordinary necklace with a bluish gem to me. That pendant is known as a soul stone, the lapis soul stone to be exact. It is special uh, to my companion, and uh, what's more is that it grants the holder certain powers in battle. Uh, this is a long shot, but the pendant doesn't help you speak to people in their dreams, does it? I'm not sure. It's possible, I suppose. Whoa, what? That's so weird, Voltsy. Did you ever dream yesterday night about someone calling for help in Europa Lake? I did. How did you know? Because I had the exact same dream do. Oh. As did I. What, Mum, you too? This can't be a coincidence. It must have been Kara's soul stone and the power of the relic somehow hearing my pleas, um, and she was reaching out in her slumber. But incidentally, however, if she was trying to reach for help in that manner, she hasn't fainted from sheer exhaustion. I fear now that she might be suffering from a unique ailment and she hasn't fallen into an ordinary coma. I think she might be suffering from an affliction known as temporal illness. I'm concerned that the sigil and its uh, interaction with Kara's lapis soul stone may have potentially been responsible for her current predicament. Temporal illness, you say? That's oddly specific. I've heard about this ailment before. I had a former colleague that I ran into when I worked in Orion City's Poch Corporation. Her name was Caitlin Linkladder. She is the foremost expert in temporal illness. The Porch Corporation were dabbing in the science of time travel, but it wasn't widely available yet. If anyone might have suggestions on how to cure your companion, it would it would be Caitlin. She still works for them as far as I know. So where can I find this Caitlin Linkladder? Lyra City. However, I'll be having none of that. You've been through quite the ordeal. What kind of host would I be to have you go tracking her down? Artie, Voltsy, perhaps you can pay a visit to Lyra City on Manaphy's behalf. There's a boat from Auriga Town that will take, take you there. Before you go, let me give you both one of these. Oh, an axe. Guess that's to chop down trees. Yeah, sweet. You can use this item to cut down a bushy trees that are acting as obstacles. Got it, Mum. Faulty and I got this under control. Manaphy, in the meantime, please do get some rest and let me know if Kara awakens. I'll make some of my famous rosary tea for you. You must be famished. Faulty, I'll meet you at Aruga Bay near the boat to Lyra City. All right, sounds good. We still got this like side quest to do for um, this old man in the in the garbage in the village. So um, yeah, let me try and find this. So it said like footsteps near Europa Lake, near the entrance. Okay, right. Footprints, footprints. Do you know what? This is here. Footprints, where you at? I don't see any footprints at the moment. That's um. That's just the uh. Finian. We'll look around, maybe we can find this Pokemon. Might have to be nighttime. Oh, there's a star. Should I catch the Starly? Really cool. Don't think I'll use it just yet, but and I can't wait to see what some of these evolutions look like. Is it near the entrance? But I don't. Well, we're going way past the entrance now. We got a cave. Anything else in the cave that we missed? Because we didn't get to check out like the right side. I can get through here. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. Kind of glad I came back in here. Hey, you, I need your help. Okay. See this carping next to me? It's not mine. It's, uh, I've been in here trying to extract some colored shards for myself, but because it keeps following me around, I've run out of them. Because it, it, it seems to keep eating the ones I find. Would you be willing to uh, feed it some colored shards? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. 
Believe there are plenty of these shards encrusted in the walls of the Europa Cave on entry level. So this particular carving seems like red, yellow, and green shards. Can you bring three of each? Okay. It's not that then. Let's just look around. Oh, cool bug line. Can also go down. Oh, let me run away, dude. Bugmite! You're a Bugmite, let me run. Got an item here. Oh, do I need to lead off with something that can let me run away? Uh, I'll probably should take the XP show off Trico, because you have gained a lot of levels. And then I'm going to pop a repel, just to get through here a little bit easier for the time being, just so we can explore it. What have we got down here? An escape rope, nice. Probably can't fight these guys, but I'm gonna fight them on the way back. Oh, we can go quite far down. Okay. Ooh. This is kind of cool. Actually, where is this even going? Um, Poké Gear map. So it's a dead end, so it doesn't like take us like. I should couldn't. No, I doubt it would take us to here. But we want to go to Cygnus Village and then go. No, no, that's where we start. We want to go south then. The village to get to the bay. There's a lot of people. I think I need a. I think I reached a dead end. Ugh. Yeah. Quite a few people. Oh yeah, oh, dude, I think I, I used the um I used the Starmia, I'm pretty sure in Soulstones one. I think it was really good. I, I feel I need to look at my team again. Cause I feel like I, I feel like I definitely used the Sceptile at some point. And I'm pretty sure I hmm, I used the Starmie. This rainbow beam is actually kind of cool. Ouch. Confusion. Oh no! can finish it off. Thought we really would. But the best thing is, we'll just get healed up walking around. I can just keep grabbing stuff. Oh, it looks like I need surf to go further. So we'll definitely come back here later on. But for the time being, we can fight some trainers on the way back. Oh, look at the matchup! That looks so cool! Oh, I love that! <laughs> That's so cool, man! That's not very effective. Ouch. Doesn't matter if we die, we'll do a little bit damage so someone else can take you out. Yeah, getting used to these types is going to be the hardest thing about this game at the moment. Oh, look at little, uh, Bulma. Uh, oh, what's it called? Not Tinker Tongs, that's the... Oh, I can't remember what your the actual one's called. Go for a radiation, that's super effective. Find out. Rainbow Beam? I think it's super effective against Dragon, right? I just realized. Dude's called a Raditz. I thought it was like a Dragon Ball Z reference. Got okay, Bulma, Raditz. Wait. Ooh. Sweet. And hi. So peaceful being able to fish in caves like this. I can imagine. Ooh, Aracuda. That was cool. A little more. Nice, let's go, Trico. Oh, Magic Carp looks insane as well. I think I remember the electric Gyarados. Like I have to go back and like look at my old playthrough for some of the Pokemon. I feel like I might have. I remember the, the, the final boss being insane difficult with like the Hooper Unbound, like the different like forms, and they look they're so cool looking and powerful, but I can't remember what I used. Oh, the Shellos look so sweet. Got one like an Ax Axu, one like a um, Naplin. I wonder if there's like a Shellos for every dragon. 
Oh, the different types as well. There's Dragon Steel. Nice. Oh, there is! Oh, this, this is so sweet! Oh, yeah, it's gimme though. Alright, uh, let's go Eevee. Nice. There's Zhang the last definitely dead. <laughs> good, good. I haven't got many repels left. Uh, is there anything else we missed? Don't think so. There's, there's got to be a Karate Kid reference, because um, Daniel's son. He's a uh, karate dude. That reminds me, when is Cobra Kai, like, season... Is it six? Like, the final season coming. If you don't watch Cobra Kai, I, I really recommend it. Obviously, I, I recommend watching the Karate Kid first, because it gives a lot of, like, uh, context to a lot of things happening in Cobra Kai, but you don't need to watch Karate Kid. But I watched Karate Kid as a kid. So good. So, so good. Still holds up. This is not looking good. This Magnemite's actually pretty tough. I should take you out of leafage. Nice. Ah, oh, the bliss bot is just... It's so good. It's gonna make, like, just not only heal up. Just, ah, fantastic. I think it's gonna get, like, more... It's gonna get less and less broken, I think. The more further we get in the game. Because right now, obviously, it does what? Uh, 1 HP for every 5 steps. And we got barely any HP, because we're low level. But when we're like level 100 and we've got like hundreds of HP, then it's gonna not seem as OP. Oh, wait, it's ghost type. It's not gonna seem, seem as OP. Oh, so this is now a long first episode. So I just got like, carried away exploring. <laughs> I don't wanna get like the side quest done before we finish. Oh, dude, the cylinder looks sick! Oh, I kind of want one of them. I think I thought the Salazzle looked really cool. Oh, that looks amazing. I think it looks kind of... I don't know, I prefer normal in Padimago. I think the pink looks really cool, but... That yeah, rock type's still sweet. Oh, dude. Paralysis. Get paralyzed again. Great. Let's go Shellos and Leafage. There we go. Right, uh, so we need to go f keep finding some shards, don't we? So I think we're back on the level. So how do we find these? I assume we need to probably break the rocks, which we can't do just yet. But I can get healed up here, actually, which is good. Right, um... So, the, by the entrance, these are those footsteps. I might camp till night time just to see. Why is I have to come back to the side quest? Because I don't know. Like, I assume just got to find the footsteps, follow it, and then take us to the Pokemon. We can catch it or take it out. Oh! Keep it that looks cool. Never gra I'm gonna have to some dragon types on the team, but it does look kind of cool. I feel like I'm gonna kill it if I hit it with that. Like, like I said before, in fan games, if I ever see a, a um, like a Badoo, like a Rose Raid regional, I'm always gonna get it because I feel like they are always some of the best designed regional Pokemon in fan games. I just feel like you can't go wrong with Rose Raid. Every single design I've seen of this looks insane. Right, uh... So let me get back to the entrance. Oh, Padovlo is cool. Anyway, let's just not get distracted. So this... Is it Europa Lake? I'm gonna just... Camp. Uh... Camp gear. Let's make it eight. Just reset the area and then just make sure. Like I don't see any footprints. If anyone knows 
where these footprints are, let me know and we'll come back and do this quest. But for now, I don't see anything. We'll just get ready for uh, next episode and we'll head to the the dock to get the boat to, um, is it Syra City? Whatever it's called, that place. But man, so far this game's banging. So much like cool stuff. Ah, oh, can't wait to see more. But I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.